Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today, here in California, we're with Team Carnage, who are the custodians of Hyper NFT's Hypercar Collection. Look at the incredible cars behind me, which very shortly we're going to be picking from to go out for a little drive. But we're here in their newly acquired warehouse. We're over towards this side. We have the Drift team with all of the Vipers. We're going to be catching up with Pro Drifter Dean in just a moment to take a better look around. Alex Choi's Miata is lurking just over there as well and there are some very exciting plans for what's going to be happening with this huge warehouse in the future also we'll find out a bit about that but we're here to talk cars and this is not so normal we're talking svj jago huira bc agira rs chiron 110 apollo ie senna unbelievable scenes here with hyper nft's collection so let's do this let's catch up with dean go for a little look around grab some keys and go out for a drive hey dean how are you doing how are you tim good thank you for having me out to visit you guys absolutely man and thank you very much for coming by to check the place out what a cool setup but firstly you literally have five vipers yeah here. i think i have a problem with vipers at this <laughs> point um so this is part of our formula drift team uh i've been over here in the states for 14 years drifting and this is kind of what you accumulate over time when you're doing a uh, professional motorsports right it's like first of all you have this car and then whenever you want to change it up well then you just buy another one you don't just change <laughs> the one you have you know so this is literally your workshop with all of the cars yep this thing i know is crazy this is our formula drift car the pro car um as we call it uh, it's 1400 wheel horsepower <laughs> and uh, the first time we're bringing it out actually is tomorrow at willow springs and i believe you're going to be there with us yeah that sounds dangerous yeah so <laughs> uh, this car is notorious for making the passengers sick so i want to get you in oh, the passenger no. seat and get you strapped in and see if we can make you get sick <laughs> oh gosh i'm not so sure about that absolute beast though but this is i think one of the really cool things right working with hyper nft with the drift team with all of this stuff yeah and it's a unique situation because for the first time in my life i have a single sponsor it's it's kind of different almost than every other car if you know what i mean there's not tons of other branding on it and um, so it gives us a lot of freedom to be able to do like exactly what we want to do and not be bound up in contracts so it's pretty cool it's as, cool. as is this space because yeah. this is like this is recent there's a lot that's going to be happening this is primo space it's uh, obviously in orange county probably the most expensive real estate like in california at the moment but uh, we're building out a luxury um storage facility here and it's going to be like a lounge kind of a members club um deal so we have the planning and everything submitted for that it's we're trying to break ground around early march april time is the plan so kind of at the moment i'm squatting in the back of the building um, yeah. until the construction actually starts at the front and starts to move backwards yeah so you'll have your workshop side you'll have all of the storage side yeah so uh it's going to be glass walled up here this is basically going to be storage in the back actually now where the workshop is and then everything forward is going to be a uh, display and lounge kind of area so nice. that'll be pretty cool i'll show you some of the uh some of the drawings after we're done with this that's gonna be really cool yeah. as is this view i mean seeing this yeah. every day right yeah it's uh, one of those views that doesn't get tiring right um, <laughs> like obviously i'm a car guy all of my life but 95 percent of the cars in the collection i couldn't afford so uh being able to be the caretaker of them is is probably as close as i'll ever get <laughs> and it's it's actually awesome how often you take them out and shooting the videos you do that you know hyper wants the cars to be driven yeah so uh, hyper spends probably only four or five days of every month actually down here with us he's always all around the globe actually doing business and stuff so he wants the cars to be brought out like every other week at least and just get the fluids moving in them and and just like turn a couple of miles and keep them fresh so uh he doesn't trust a lot of people with driving his cars and i've been fortunate enough to spend a lot of time with him both here and at the track so he's uh, pretty comfortable with me driving him and that's obviously a great privilege because i probably could never drive him other than that right <laughs> there are some that are out at the moment though right yeah so this is about uh probably about 40 percent of the collection is here at the moment there is a uh, pure sport and there's a uh, regera there's another svj there's a hyra or missing there's a senna gtr <laughs> there's another three g 83 rs is that this is a ridiculous list of cars oh it's crazy um i think in the last 18 months or so he's accumulated like 50 or 60 new acquisitions so 
it's pretty crazy. Every day he calls me, he's like, hey, there's a truck on the way, will you want to load up? I'm like, really? <laughs> Such a cool collection. Yep. Well, very shortly, we're going to grab some keys. Yes, yeah, so he doesn't trust a lot of people, as I said, about his cars, but I made a phone call to him, and uh, he obviously knows you and follows awesome. you online, and he was like, whatever Tim wants, just let him have it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So, I, I've never heard him say that ever about anyone before. <laughs> so uh, you're obviously very well trusted and very well respected in the industry. Well, so. Thank you. Are we going to be like spinning a bottle? How are we working? Yeah, I think you should actually spin a bottle and see what you pick. <laughs> see where it lands. And you can have multiple goes until you get, yeah, yeah. Until you get the one you want. <laughs> we'll, we'll make a choice. <laughs> a decision has been made. We're going to be taking these two. I'm going to be driving the Bugatti Chiron Sport 110 on Bugatti. This was the first special edition that Bugatti made on the Chiron, based on the Chiron Sport. And we all know how many special editions had come before of the Veyron, but this celebrated 110 years of the automaker. And this car has so many magnificent details. It's based on the Chiron Sport. That means you have things like this carbon fiber windshield wiper arm to save every little bit of weight. We also have these rather incredible wheels with the holes and hollow openings in them. Again, all about a bit of weight savings to keep it under 2,000 kilos. Plus, this particular example is also fitted with the magnificent Skyview roof option where you've got those two glass panels over the top to reveal a fabulous interior that we're going to be checking out in more detail in just a moment. Actually, one of my favourite things about the Chiron Sport Sondisson is this. On the fuel filler cap here, you have those extra tricolore stripes, the blue, blanc, and rouge of the French flag on there, which looks so smart. It's a wonderful looking thing, but not only are we going out with that, that I shall drive in a moment for the first time. I've never driven a Sondisson. We're also going to be giving chase to this, the Koenigsegg Agera RS Valhall. I've actually driven this very car before with its previous owner, Speedy Jeff, one of only 25 in the world of what was at the time the world's fastest car, about 280 miles per hour when they set the record run, borrowing the power plant from the Koenigsegg one to one. This particular car looks awesome. These are two of the most incredible cars in the world and we're about to take them both out for a little drive in the sunshine here in California. This is a little bit unreal, but let's do it. Before we get this started, have a little look inside at the details here. Of course, the Chiron lighting, but the different blues, the stripe continued through the seat, the embroidery, in fact, in the headrest. Also, the enamel badge there in the very center, the illuminated C that runs around between driver and passenger. Look at that as well with the sky view panels. It is a work of art, a true masterpiece inside this car. Right, let's get it started up. Let's get this started then. So, open the door. You can hear it start to prime the fuel pump. Take a seat carefully on board with that dashboard that goes to 300 miles per hour. Swing in and then wait for that to just finish what it's doing. start of the W16, the feeling of power. All right, let's get the egg started and then we're out. That was an aggressive start. Look at that car on the move. That is immense. A video to come as well on the Carnage channel. But out we go. Past some of the other cars that are in here, past the Vipers, and then for a drive in the bug in the sunshine. Let's go. Now this is ridiculous. I'm driving a Bugatti Chiron Sondisson, and look, the Koenigsegg Akira RS Valhall is right there as well. This is not normal. This is really not normal. <laughs> okay, this car is immaculate. Inside, it is just, just stunning. Everything about it. <laughs> of all the places in the world where you might see a Koenigsegg and a Bugatti driving together, I suppose Orange County, California is probably one of the examples. The cracks on the shifts from that thing are absurd. And then in here, it's just effortlessness. The Chiron is never the loudest thing in the world. It's the way it just, it has so much power and torque, 
you gently feather the throttle pedal and it pulls away and it just wants to I, I, like spring into another dimension. I don't really know how to explain it, but just driving gently. The thing that's so remarkable about this car is how docile it is, how chilled it is, how drivable and comfortable and smooth it is, how normal it is. <laughs> the swooshes and fun sounds. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> I'm just looking in the mirror. Oh, wow. In here, you just want to let the car do its thing. You can put it up into highway or into track mode. Drop down some gears so we can get a little bit more of the swooshes. I wonder if we're going to find out which is faster. of this that's really interesting when you accelerate the window automatically closes I remember that as soon as you get onto the throttle if your window is down slightly it shuts it that's the kind of level of attention to detail that you get in a Bugatti but nothing else it's really fun actually to experience that again drop down the gears third gear propulsion is crazy the propulsion is just absolutely crazy it could not be more perfect than a day here in the sunshine with the palm trees driving a bugatti following a koenigsegg as we're arriving at highway one the pacific coast highway here in newport beach i mean this is totally unreal this is absolutely like dream stuff driving this car is so perfect I say that every time I drive in a, in a Bugatti, whether it's a Devo or a Chiron Supersport or Chiron Pursport or Veyron or anything. It's the way everything feels, everything you touch, everything that you interact with, the weighting of it all, the quality of it all, that punch of it. And then we're doing this with these two cars together. This is one of those times when you're sitting at a red traffic light where there is immense temptation to absolutely boot it, except there's a cop on the right there. <laughs> That's the first thing. The second thing, and probably most important thing, is the fact that I am driving Hyper's multi-million dollar Hyper car. I cannot believe he has kindly allowed me to drive this today, but of course, you need to respect something like this. You need to respect a machine of this ability, this value, this rarity, this specialness, because truly it is something privileged to be able to drive this thing, to be able to be sat in this seat on the road, to delicately pilot a car like a Bugatti Chiron. We're pulling into a park here with these two. This is what I really like the most though about driving a bug is that it just, here for example, cruises just like normal, just like a completely normal car. You just do what you do with it and go about regular business. Now that was cool. How, look at it, how fortunate in life are we doing this, right? <laughs> what a day. I mean, yeah. right now, this view, the sea, the sand, the palm trees, it looks, the hypercars. It looks a lot warmer than what it is, right? It's quite it's windy. It's a little bit chilly. You're just in a t-shirt, <laughs> but my goodness. These uh, two cars and the noise, you've clearly found the sweet spot. I was this. just actually telling Mark this. Uh, I have found the shift spot that like, I can hold it at exactly the right RPM, click the gear and every time, wah bam bam And then you look over at me and yep. I've got a finger in yeah. my ear. <laughs> it sounds incredible though, doesn't it? It does, it does. You obviously don't get noises like that from the Chiron. But the turbo sounds off of yes. this alone is the just... The lift off is like, incredible. That sucking sound is incredible, yeah. I love it. It's and my favourite car. Just the, the effortlessness of it, it just glides. It's it's uh, elegant, it's... it's. I honestly think it's the best combustion engine car that was ever made. Yeah, I mean, that uh, engine is something that I'm obviously a big fan. is the pinnacle. But, uh, <laughs> Can I take Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think we should uh, maybe go on and enjoy the rest of PCH. Yeah, let's, do it. let's hop back in and keep driving. Let's do it. It is time to go. Start back up, mute the radio into drive unsurprisingly a fair few people including that x5m have stopped 
to see the cars while we were parked just here. What a place to be, literally sunshine, palm trees, the sea, sand, and hyper NFTs, hyper cars. This is not normal. This is not a normal day. I cannot quite believe that this is reality right now. Out we go again and with an open road. In fact, let me pop the gear shifter into sport. Drops the gears. <laughs> like, it's quite hard to explain this one. The numbers become very big without a whole lot of drama. When the road opens up, <laughs> My goodness. This is cool. This is really, really cool. The thing with this car is, I, I know from experience, if you go full throttle, it's so, so, so silly fast. You, you just can't do that on a public road. You can only enjoy the kind of mid range as we are right now. But when you're doing this, it's a sense that you know what it can do. And because you know what it can do, this is still amazing fun. I'm just waiting because I want to get the egg going straight past us because I know what that's going to be like. Waiting for it. We're actually about to join the freeway, which I would imagine should be quite fun just here. Hopefully without traffic, because this is Los Angeles, of course. The 405 is not exactly famed for being a open smooth road but i tell you what this sits so flat even when you hurtle the two tons through a corner out we go it's hard to really explain the sounds because sound makes things feel like they're faster than they are the acceleration in here is so gentle relative then I'm sure through the video it just doesn't translate properly. And if I put my foot down completely, okay, you get a bit more. Just sometimes can't quite believe how powerful a car like this is. I mean, these two together, this is just such a cool day, such a special day, so much fun. All good things have to come to an end. <laughs> Those bangs. And unfortunately, we are returning back towards base after this drive. Yeah, he's got his phone out in the Mustang, unsurprisingly. It's not every day you see these things. That was a really fun drive, though. That was just really cool. But let's, let's go get these safely back home. In we go, back past all of the Vipers. Really cool. What a drive. What an amazing opportunity. This car is genuinely one of my favorites. I mean, look at this, <laughs> in the open space. Let's not do anything silly here. I always enjoy driving a Bugatti just because there's nothing else like it. It's a complete niche that they have their own, to their own design, you know, their own desires. This car is a wonderful thing to drive. It's such a lovely experience. You don't want to absolutely hoon it and floor it everywhere. You want to just enjoy and savor the opportunity. And well, it does it really quite well. It does it really quite well. And it's so easy to drive, it's so docile. You don't need to be going at Mach 10. You just can if you want to. Everything works as you think it should. With the cars back in, they're parked up there just for the moment before they'll get cleaned up, plugged back in, put back in the line. But I cannot wait to see the transformation of this space, the plans ahead. Of course, with the Schmuseum, I'm very much in that mindset of what you do with opportunities like this and the setup they have here with Team Carnage, with the Pro Vipers, the drifting, everything on that side, all of the videos the guys are making on the Carnage channel as well, if you aren't already following them. And then of course, having some of the collection from Hyper NFT here as well. And I cannot say thank you enough to Hyper for the opportunity to drive these today. Absolutely out of this world. So, so, so incredible to do. Two literal mega cars over 1,360 horsepower 
out on the road together. The Bugatti Chiron 110, the first time driving a 110 and feeling what that interior is really all about. Of course, taking a look out on the road and enjoying the sounds of the Agera RS as well. Do make sure you're following Dean and the team on the Carnage channel to see plenty more with all of the cars here, plenty more with the Vipers, plenty more of everything they're up to out here in California and beyond as well. But for today, thank you very much to Hyper. Thank you very much to you guys for watching as always. And that's it for this time. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>